Welcome back to part three of setting up Pinterest for business. In this video, we will go over analytics and how to create an ad campaign. Hover over analytics on the top left corner of the page and click on overview. The first thing we'll do is confirm our website. You'll need to copy this bit of text here and head over to your site. For this example, we're using a WordPress site. Once you're logged in, go to tools and click on available tools. Here you will find the Pinterest site verification, where you will paste the text you copied and then click Save Changes. When you're done, go back to Pinterest and refresh the page. You should no longer see a verification alert. Analytics are empty in this account because it's new, but an older account will be filled with information about your profile, the people you reach, and the activity from the site you verified. Inside each of these categories, you'll see a time chart of progress, top pin and board impressions, and be able to change the date range. You can even see the analytics for individual devices and export data for your reports. Under People You Reach, you'll see demographics and interests, which prove quite useful when you're deciding what content to share. Next, let's set up Pinterest ads and create a new campaign for our business profile. Pick your country and click Next. Pinterest will give you a quick rundown of what ads can do, like measure performance, optimization, and metrics. To get started, you'll need to choose a campaign goal, either build brand awareness, boost engagement, or get traffic to your site. We'll choose brand awareness, name it, and set a lifetime spending cap for it. Here, you will find out all the information needed for the group and audience you want to reach. First, name your group, set a start and end date, or run it continuously, and set a daily budget. Next, create an audience. Doing this will help you get your pins in front of the right people. You can target an audience based on visits to your site, customers, engagement, or people that behave similarly to the audience you already have. Next, you have interests, where you pick relevant topics to reach your audience in their home and category feeds. If you don't target interests, keywords help Pinterest put your pins on the home and category feeds. Basically, keywords help your promoted pins show up in search results. So, the more detailed, the better. Other ad details include locations, languages, devices, and genders. Lastly, set your max CPM, or cost per mil bid, meaning the amount you pay for every 1,000 impressions. Now you're ready to pick a pin. You'll be asked to fill out a couple more details about the pin before you promote it. And on the right side here, you can see all the details you have filled out for your campaign. Finally, enter your business info, agree to the terms of service, and set up your billing. You will only pay when someone follows your ad all the way through. Over time, once you've created a handful of promoted pins, you'll be able to see the metrics for each and even edit it for better performance. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and move on to part four of this video series where we go over third-party apps and scheduling pins.